hand wash is made in a big factory like this. Here, they can make 10,000 bottles of hand wash every single day. That's going to keep a lot of hands clean. All of the ingredients are kept in different size containers. And the first thing to do is mix them all together. These two huge machines are the hand wash mixers. And this is where all of the ingredients go. Wow! Can you see those curved metal blades? Well, those are going to spin round and round to mix all of the ingredients together. There's already some water inside, and the first thing we're going to add is some salt. Whoosh! Can you see the blades mixing the salt with the water? The next ingredient to get added to the mixer is a chemical with a really long name, sodium laureth sulfate, and it's what makes the soap bubbles when we use it. But there's so much of it, it has to get pumped into the mixer through a big tube. Now Ian is measuring out the next ingredient, called glycerin. Can you see how shiny and gloopy it is? This is what makes the hand wash slippery. The glycerin is poured into the mixture too. Now, most hand washes have a nice smell, so that when we use them, our hands smell nice. And this smell comes from this ingredient. It's a type of perfume, just like the perfume you might have smelt someone wearing. But shall we see what this one smells like? Okay. Wow. It smells like flowers. It's sweet and very, very strong. So, in goes the perfume. ready. There's just one more extra special ingredient to add, and it comes from a plant. It's called an aloe plant. Now, you mustn't do this at home, but would you like to see inside the leaf? Here we go. Can you see that sticky material? It's called aloe vera, and that's what helps to soothe our skin. The aloe vera is measured and poured into the mixture. Hand wash comes in lots of different colours, and to do this, a colouring is added. It's a bit like adding colour to icing on a cake. At the moment, it looks really dark, so it's hard to see what colour it is. But what colour do you think it's going to be? Let's find out. 